Welcome viewers please like, comment and subscribe. Chris Amafidon, chairman of the Excellence in Education charity, from Epping, Essex was once first in line at a Smith shop overnight. Professor Chris Amafidon with the newly launched autobiography from the Duke of Sussex at Smith's in Victoria Station, the e-book grew to be handy to buy at midnight. Professor Chris Amafidon with the newly launched autobiography from the Duke of Sussex at w Smith's in Victoria Station, the e-book grew to be accessible to buy at midnight. Picture date. Tuesday, January 10, 2023. A man has spoken out after turning into the first individual to purchase the Prince Harry memoir in the UK. Professor Chris Amafidon, chairman of the Excellence in Education charity, from Epping, Essex, who was once first in line at a Smith Keep overnight. He picked up three copies stated he wishes to hear the story from the horse's mouth. Queuing backyard the keep simply earlier than midnight, Mr. Amafidon informed the PAW information company that he had been ready in Victoria Station due to the fact that 9.30 p.m. to get his fingers on a copy. Mr. Amafidon stated he is extremely curious as to why Harry left the institution, adding. I'm greater of a fan of the royal household than the people due to the fact the royal household have accomplished greater work for me and my charity than any political workplace holder. He delivered that he is dazed via reviews of how plenty element the Duke has long gone into about personal household moments. Why? You do not want that to sell. You would promote a e-book if you are Diana's Hatter Diana's Canine or Diana's if you are linked to Diana, you will nevertheless sell. Why would you go to that distance? I truly choose to recognize from the horse's mouth, he said including that he hopes the e-book is in Harry's first man or woman voice now not in the one-third person. I truly choose to recognize why the younger man would depart the us of a he loved, he lived in and was once equipped to die for due to the fact he went to war. Sasha Purcell, 27, who has moved to London from Melbourne, Australia, said. I'm simply intrigued. I've heard so lots press about the e-book and it is additionally simply a bit thrilling I've in no way been to a middle of the night release. I simply thought. You recognize what? I've simply completed work. It will be a bit of enjoyable to go over and purchase the e-book that I favor to read. Sarah Nakana, 46, said. It will simply be the public getting whipped into a frenzy of anti Harry and Meghan Ness due to the fact this is what sells hate sells their monetizing hate. I used to be simply like. No I simply want to reduce the noise here examine it and be like. Fine, I can go on now. She said. When Harry used to be doing his book, I used to be like. No I want to simply understand what his existence has been due to the fact the British media inform me every day. This is what it is. And I hardly ever hear from the man however I hear from the British press, the royal rota, the royal professionals however in no way from him directly. It used to be simply very essential for me as a historic file to hear about his lifestyles due to the fact he has lived it and it's why I'm right here tonight. This is him, his words, this is what I went through. With the snippets that have been out, I love the honesty. This is the good, the terrible and the ugly, this is me. There is nothing hidden, there is nothing instructed over me. The interview will be aired two days before Harry's Tell All Memoir Spare is released. Harry's sit-down interview with Anderson Cooper on 60 Minutes will additionally air on January 8, where he claims he had been compelled to make his concerns public. Harry says silence is betrayal in a clip from the interview which was launched on Monday. He is referring to the alleged failure of Buckingham Palace to defend him and Meghan before they stepped down as senior participants of the royal.